let me tell you about witchcraft. Mm. Nobody can do anything to you unless if a member of your family brings them in. So do you think they get permission? Yes, they get Someone permission. Someone gives them the gateway. Yes. Hey, on, in front of everybody, I fell. Boom. So, so you <laughs> lose sensation on your leg completely. Yes. You can't yes. balance. Mm -mm. I just found, but what is happening? Every time I go to a witch doctor, they all had the same thing. They'll be telling me about a woman who wants to kill me. If I don't die, then I must sit on a wheelchair. Ha! Huh. It's your own flesh and blood. Ooh! Mm. My reason for not working, I could feel good there's a snake inside of my, my stomach. <laughs> They want to use me as a sacrifice in order to be rich. Eh. Hmm. They rotate. So currently, as we speak, you are living with two snakes one, still in your body. The one nerves, on the leg. The large. The mam lambo. The, the ghost. Hello there, San Banani Dumelang. Guten Morgen. Goeie auntie. Hola. <laughs> Welcome from wherever you're watching from. I know we have international viewers. This is an international show. And we absolutely love it. We wouldn't have done it without you. So we appreciate you watching today. This is I've Been Through the Most, a podcast. It's set Twins TV O'Clock. Yes. And it's that time for you to subscribe. Listen, we are on a road to 300k subscribers right here on YouTube. Do not, I repeat, do not watch this episode without clicking on that subscribe button it's absolutely free you don't pay anything you just subscribe and you get to have quality content to you week in and week out yeah. we are dedicated to bringing you the best content with the best quality yeah. at the right time and that is going to be impactful powerful and life changing also do mm -hmm. follow us on our different social media platforms we are on tiktok twitter facebook as well as instagram yes we post on all those platforms. Yeah. Please, please, please do follow us there. So we have an interesting guest today, Melissa. Yes, we do. And it wouldn't be a podcast if you're not listening to us on those audio platforms like Spotify as well as Apple Podcasts. So thank you. If you're listening on those platforms, make sure you drop a like and a comment on those episodes. Yo, today's episode, I mean, I received the email, right? And I had to like breathe a little bit you yeah. know uh, let me just say we receive the emails as well our team receives the emails but we also go through the emails we do obviously you know go through the searching process whether an episode is relevant or not relevant and particularly when we received your email immediately i was like we need to have her on the show because yeah. i felt like your story is so relevant but it's also something that has not been told on our channel before oh. miss joanna welcome to the show uh, you're you. so beautiful wow <laughs> <laughs> and do you know how old i am no, 51, going ha! to be 52. Wow. Yes. Ha. Yes. <laughs> Aging beautifully. Of course. You are refusing now. What's uh, 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 <laughs> Not me. Uh, uh. I refuse. Sure. Wow. Yes. And, and I think that's going to bring a lot of light, I guess, to, to everything that she's gone through, you know. Yeah. And, I, and I'm so glad that you are at that age and that you matured enough to sort of maybe understand what you are going through. Uh, but firstly, can you introduce yourself to our audience, who you are? We know that you are 50 or something and fabulous, <laughs> you know. But um, yeah, who are you? Where do you come from? Okay, my name is Joanna Nguyenyama. I'm 51, as I said, going to be 52 on Workers' Day. Mm. I was born on a special day. Maybe that's why I'm special oh, to God. <laughs> yes, I'm originally from uh, Bushback Ridge. I got two daughters. Mm -hmm. mm, the one, the eldest one is 27 now. Mm. And I'm a gogo already. I already oh. have a one-year-old uh, Stokholo. Fabulous gogo. Yes, and the other one is 13. She's at school at the moment. Oh, wow. Mm, I never married. I think it's going to be explained in my our podcast today. Okay. Yes. So I've got two daughters, two beautiful daughters. I love them. Oh, they are my life. <laughs> my grand. You should see me with my grandchild. Aww. She's a blessing, especially at this moment mm. in this situation that I'm in. Yay. Yes. Sure. Mm. Awesome. So take us through your story. Okay. Uh, ladies, uh, I've been through a lot in my life. My growing up has not been easy. I come from a family like we were six, that was five daughters and a one boy. I'm the third in the family. I think I was born with spiritual gifts, naturally. Okay. Because from a young age, You're special. Yes, from a young age when I was in my teens, I would have uh, dreams. In the dream, 
I will always see two snakes, a black member, pitch black, and a python. Mm. I had never seen a python, but in the dreams, I knew those snakes. Yeah. Mm. With my own eyes, I only saw a python like when I was in my 40 something in a corner when we were watching a uh, National Geographic. But in my dreams, I knew those snakes. So, usually, on the, in the dreams, I will always be killing those snakes. And sometimes in the dream, I will see myself in a very big pit. I will try to want to come out, but it will be difficult for me to come out. And as children, it's normal. When you wake up, you tell, you tell your dreams, you know, I always see this. Mm. I always see this in my dream. But even when you say that, nobody takes you yeah, yeah. it seriously. Yeah. Yes, but then I think with children, let me give people this warning. With children, we need to listen to what children say. Because whatever children say, children are more spiritual than adults mm. because they are not yet uh, uh, exposed, uh, exposed to, yeah. or their uh, their minds. Clean. This yes, is clean. Yeah. Yeah. yes. So usually, when when children see these things, we normally say hi when asuka kanti. Sometimes they are the ones who are going to <laughs> save us. So. Growing up, I, I did not even understand why I had dreams like that, but they were recurring, like it will happen almost every day. And I was the kind of a, a child with you when I'm sleeping, almost every day around two o'clock, I will wake up, no matter how nice, how sweet the, 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 the sleep was. Is, yes. The sleep was, it will be like someone comes with a, a razor to cut it, thing, then I'll wake up. Is this 2 a.m.? Yeah, normally around 2 a.m. Every sure. morning, every yes, I'll wake mm. up. And remember, as I said, I'm coming from Bushpark Ridge. We grew mm. up during those days. There was no electricity. It was in the dark. And But then you grow up you being used to those things. Yeah. So when I wake up, a few minutes down the line, I'll be hearing things outside. <laughs> and it bothered me. Why am I the only one hearing this? Because when I wake up in the morning, I retell my story. It seems like I'm the only one <laughs> who hears all this. <laughs> Wait, how around what age are you? In my early teens, it, it started from my like early teens up until, yes, okay. yes. So I you're old enough to, to be aware, you know you heard things for sure. I, I know, I know. Like I'm saying, when I woke up, I'll always tell. Mm. I heard things at night. Did you hear this? I heard things at night. Did Nobody heard these things. I'm the only one who heard. I don't know, maybe they heard they didn't want to tell. So it went on and on. You grow up, then you go to relationships. Relationships, mm. same pattern. You... Mm. Get uh, in a relationship with a person, it doesn't work. Two, three months down the line, you break up. You go to another one. See, Pella, I say you end up looking like you're a prostitute because now mm. every man you come across, they don't stay. They go. And you start wondering, what is happening Why? to me? As time goes on, then I remember when uh, I passed my metric, I went to, we were at a boarding school in, in Zanin in Kowankowa. There was yeah. a boarding school called Banguna. I went there. I went there to take my uh, uh, metric uh, statement. Mm -hmm. When I got there, my metric statement was not there. <laughs> to collect it from the school. Yes, to collect it from Who the school. Yes. yes, it was there in the newspaper. My name, I yes. saw it. It's there. My metric statement is not there. What am I gonna mm -hmm. do? Then I had to go back home and sit. And I was supposed to be accepted uh, at college. How am, am I going to go there? Because they're going to need it. Yes, they're going to need it. So I had to sit. I think after a year, my uncle who was staying that site, I don't know how he got hold of it or what happened. Mm -hmm. He came with it and he gave it to me. It was after a year or so. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Yep. I'm telling you. So... I anyway, I finally had to to go to college. Uh, I'm a I'm a professional teacher, as I speak. Mm. So years went by. Relationship wise, uh, no, no, no. Uh, it doesn't work. So immediately when I came from college, I met someone, and then I had my my first daughter. Mm -hmm. But as I said, relationships never work, and you don't even they know. Don't last. There, there's no reason. The people just like they 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 lose interest. Mm. Yeah. So. When you grow up, you start questioning things. Why, why are these things happening? Because you see a pattern in all this. Mm -hmm. And then I look around the family. It's like, I man, but it, does, it looks like I'm not the only one. My two sisters are also going through the same thing. What is happening? So you come from a family where people have got children out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. It's a pattern for all of us. Fine, then you get used to it. We are in South Africa. It's common. We have children with mm. no fathers in South Africa. Now it's common. Then you get used to it. So 
now here I am after completing my schooling when I, uh, I had my, my first daughter giving birth to the child when they say there is God. Mm. <laughs> the man upstairs, uh, he's so powerful. I was not even a Christian back then. I don't want to lie to you. Yeah. Mm. But I think there's something about God. When God has chosen you, Ooh. Mm. yes, situations will come. You'll fight battles, but if he has chosen you, he'll always say no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes he'll allow these things to happen so that you can get closer to him. Yeah. Mm. Because there's something in you that he sees. Um, I, I want to take you back to this dream thing. With the dreams, most of the time when I dream about something, it will happen. Mm. Yeah, it will happen. I remember at one time, this is, the, this is the funniest one that I had when I was, I think I was 14 or 13. Mm. There was a shop closer to my home. So, yes, in Makaya, we normally uh, take the shortcut via mm. someone's House. home yes. and they go to the shop. Yes. So, in the dream, I see myself carrying, it was the an Albani bread. Back then, they didn't slice uh, uh, yes. bread, but they will sell it hot. Yes, fresh. Yeah, fresh yeah. and hot and we'll fight for the crust. You yes. <laughs> yeah, so we normally go to the shop and you carry the bread like this. So in the dream, when I, I crossed that uh, uh, house, mm. the bread uh, broke into two hmm. in the dream. I, I, I let it like that. Now they send me to the shop. I go. When I come back, this very same spot where I had a dream, the bread did the same thing and it broke into two. The other half fell. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pick it up. And my mother mm. was saying, scream, why do you have to do this? And you know, our mothers yeah. out there are like, and I'm, I didn't know. I don't know what happened, but yeah. the bread is too fresh. And sure. <laughs> so, so that's when I realized that there's something about my dreams. Mm. Because they it's happen. like, yeah, they happen. So at some stage when there was supposed to be a death in the family, I will dream about it. But mm. then I wouldn't say because those, the, those were scary. Mm. How do you go and tell I dreamed? so and so was dead i would dream if it was a person who was young i'll dream of a, a the features of the person yeah some someone describing a particular person of that i'll dream about it mm. so when it happens in my heart i'll say it, it happened and i'll be scared a little bit but then mm. when you come from a family where there's no church and all that you you're just living yes. yeah you're just living and in the dream you'll find yourself fighting people and you don't understand why you're fighting mm. in the dream. But what I like, in all my fights, I always conquered in the dream. Wow. <laughs> you always overcame. Yes, yeah. I always overcame. And so now, we're going back forward to when I was pregnant with my child. Mm. Before I gave birth to her, uh, I saw a tortoise. It was close to when I was supposed to give birth. And I was wondering, why, where is a tortoise coming from? He has a real a, one. You, 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 you know Bush Bakrish. Yes. So there's no way that the tortoise could be. Pella Bush Bakrish is not different mm. from most of the houses. They are, they are clustered. Okay. Yes, yes. Our villages are clustered. So they are not the kind of uh, uh, villages that we can say how you, you expect the these things. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Unless if you close it, you stay closer to the river. So yeah. if you're in the middle, you don't expect those things. Then so a tortoise. What is a tortoise doing here? And, um, guys, a tortoise. So we laughed about it with my sister because to us, you know, these things, sure. they never really clicked with its spiritual things mm. happening to me. Then came the day I had to go and give birth. I went to the hospital. There was a military hospital in Hot Spray. Do you know Hot Spray? Yes. Yes, there was a military hospital there. So I booked with a the doctor. They used to come to the Econoc Plaza. Mm -hmm. I booked that I'll give birth there. So on the day I went there, they checked, my name is not there. <laughs> At the so, hospital? Yes. And you had booked a bed. Yes. So if my name is not there, it means I must go where? Back to Tinsalo, a public hospital. And this is what I was running away Were from. Were you in labor already? I'm in labor. I mean, sure. labor. I'm in labor. The water already broke and all that. Yo. I'm in labor. Hi, they rechecked again and then they called, I think they called the secretary of the doctor. Mm -hmm. Maybe she forgot to put the name there. So yeah. everything was fine. I went to labor. They induced me. I was in labor. Now there came the time when, when I'm supposed to give birth. I was trying to push for one hour, 50 minutes. My child could not come out. <gasps> I already lost. That hour, I had two hours? Yes. So you yes. were tired. I was tired. And it was a Sunday. 
on top of that, it was a Sunday. So, you know, when it's a Sunday, doctors are mostly not yes, working. Yes. yes, except for the doctor who's trying to help so you give no space. So there's no specialist if there's an emergency. They had to, because it was so straight and yeah. you know, most of them are staying there. Oh, so they yes. had to call and now they were now preparing me for an operation. Uh, but again, God came in. One of the doctors said, no, man, we can't take her to operation. Then they had, I don't know what they called them. They look like, you know, the tongs they used to oh, pull. Yes. I don't know what they called yes, them, yes, these yes. scientific names. They had to use that to pull my daughter mm. out. Mm. Can you imagine the pain? Mm. I was even tired of crying. I cried, but uh, I couldn't cry anymore. <laughs> sh- I know those things very mm. well. They just grab the head. They twist the head. It's like... Yeah, yeah, like I the tongs that we used to dry meat. Yes. So it's something like they, they used it when to pull my daughter out after almost two hours of. But anyway, even on top of that, I, we we far from God, but God is closer to us. I Anyway, life went on. Now, that year when I gave back to her, I gave, uh, I had a temporary job for a year. After a year, it was finished. Then the following year, I got another one. Then that is what that was in 1998, 1999. From the year 2000, I struggled to get a job. Ten years, whole ten years, looking for a teacher's job I could not find. Ten years. Oh. Ten years. Wait, and at this point, are you still having dreams or not? Now I'm getting older, so they are. Kind of like feeling, and okay. and besides, whoever is responsible is away. Remember, these people spiritually they scan us and they know us. We don't know ourselves, but they know us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so this is what I wanna come because um, in some way in Psalms they say if the foundation uh, be destroyed, what can the Russians do? Mm-hmm. We can only look up to God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because most of us as black people. Our foundations are destroyed because of witchcraft. Yes. Before we make it, we have to battle household wickedness. We have to battle strongholds, curses from our mothers, our grandmothers, mm. from ancestors. We have to battle all those things before you can make it. Hmm. And do, do, do you think that, you know, you were cursed or bewitched at some point because your things were not going according to plan? At some point, I thought it, I thought it was, I thought I was just unfortunate okay. at that time. Mm-hmm. At that I time. thought I was unfortunate because yeah. I would always ask my mom, they would always refer, go to this one, you know, those prophets where you have to pay and they give you things, but it never worked. With me, it never worked. Mm. So I went to many places, it never worked. Then I ended up making, working for McDonald's, humbled myself put the certificates mm. behind and work for McDonald's. I worked for McDonald's for six years. Wow. Mm, mm. Saving beggars. And believe you me, nobody there knew that I was educated. They just saw me as a person. Mm. <laughs> and even there, you'll be working very hard. But when it comes to promotion, you won't get it. Won't get it. Someone who's lazy, who comes to work late, who doesn't <laughs> do the work, will be promoted before you. <laughs> but tell me something. I want to go back to the tortoise that you saw. Mm. When you were pregnant, do you think that was a sign of something? What What did that mean? At, at that time, it, part of me mm. thought something is not right. Yeah. Because my mother had to, she said I should take it to a certain sangoma that she used to go so to. So you must take the tortoise? Yes, to a certain sangoma. You must and give carry it to the tortoise and take it literally and take it there. I, 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 I can't remember. I think somebody, well, I don't know, but tortoise is it's slow. Ne? So yes. I don't think it was slow killed. I, th- I think they, they put it in a plastic bag and they yeah. had to take it to a certain Sangoma and give it to, hey. to him. Ne? So I, don't, I didn't ask. Yeah. You know, when you're children and you're obedient, sometimes mm. we, don't, we don't question yes. our, our yes, parents. Why should I do that? You trust them. Yes. Better. You think if they, the tortoise goes there, maybe they're going, if it's witchcraft, maybe they're going to reverse it back to whoever mm. sent it and all that. Mm. Yeah, but. So, um, I remember at some time, uh, my sister was sick. I think it was around 1983, 1984. She was sick for three months. She could not walk, move, or do anything. Mm. And it was alleged that she was being, she, they wanted to make her a zombie. 
something like that. Mm. So we used to go to the hospital, check on her. And it was so painful seeing her lying there, doing nothing. It mm. was so painful. Mm. Mm. But then later on, she she woke up because mm. my father at that time was alive. And Abandabadala, they went out there to consult. And some people were implicated. And uh, let me tell you about witchcraft. Nobody can do anything to you unless if a member of your family brings them in. Mm. Nobody. Yo. Witches can't do anything much to you unless if a member of your family brings them in. So do you think they get permission? Yes, they get Someone permission. Someone gives them the gateway, yes, the permission. Yes, they're supposed to be a legal right. Even the Bible talks about legal rights. Nobody could penetrate Israel if the gates were strong. Mm. Nobody. That's why the children of Israel could not do anything to Jericho physically. They had to trust in God. So if their foundation is strong, nobody can penetrate it. But if the foundation is weak, anything is possible. Hmm. Yes. So now fast forward. Let me come to my situation without yeah. me going too far. Because if we to explain this witchcraft thing, <laughs> it, the sun will rise and set again. Yeah. And then... A uh, few years down the line, I started, I used to jog. I, wa I was sexy, man. You don't fit, get me the way. Yes. <laughs> I was sexy and fit. Come on, girl. <laughs> As I say, I'm this is my gogo that doesn't want to grow old. Yeah. I was sexy. I used to jog and all that. So suddenly, my left leg, it started with my leg leg. Hmm. It started acting funny, like it would be crampy and all that and became painful it will be an on and off thing mm. okay. so sometimes you go to a doctor they check give you this and you go home and it's fine but then in 2019 something drastic happened i was at home i started falling i just fell out of nowhere this knee mm -hmm. gave me like balance. like yes like it it automatically turned into rubber and i could not hold and i fell i fell so many times at home what is happening and I started wondering. I anyway, I came back to work. Fine, I was fine. So in December, and I think in 2019, I, I met this guy. We dated, and really went home. Want to be, wants to marry me, and all that. So on Christmas Day at home, we had this culture of all of us meeting, and we'll go out. Yeah. yeah bon. So I went there with a guy. It was the first time for me and him to introduce to the guy. Oh, to the there, mm. there on. In front of everybody in a picnic-like place, I fell. Boom. <laughs> so, so you lose sensation on your leg completely. Yes. You can't yes. balance. Mm -mm. I just found, but what is happening? Hey. Hey. Anyway, we ignore it. Hey, people are there. Man. I mean, it's Christmas. People are there. Shh, people are we happy. are Africans. Mm. Man. People are happy. Mangelona. Hey. And anyway, at the time I was drinking, so maybe people just thought the good teacher drunk. Mm. Yeah, boy. Okay, fine. We had our fun and all that. Now it's time for us to go home. Same spot where I fell. Pow, again. Hey, hey, can't you, what is happening? So the guy went to fetch the car and then he took me home. And the others uh, followed. I And then we dated. It was fine. But now, this problem of the leg now starts deteriorating. What is happening? It's getting worse. It, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's becoming more and more stiff and numb. Now mm. when I walk, I have to... You know what? I have to drag it. Mm. Mm, 2020, 2021, it was even worse. I could not even go to work because at night I could not even sleep. So I could not, up until now, I haven't gone to work since 2021. Huh. Yes. I have been to doctors, specialists. That is why I said to you, in 2022 August, uh, I had to do a spine operation. And when I was going to doctors and specialists, all the tests came, doctors could not see anything. And I realized, no, this is spiritual. Mm. It's spiritual. You go to, we are African, man. You go to uh, the prophets, the white garment prophets, they do this, watch when, whatever, give you. You go to witch doctors. Now, this is where something struck me. Every time I go to a witch doctor, they all had the same thing. They'll be telling me about a woman who wants to kill me. If I don't die, then I must sit on a wheelchair. So when they tell you about a woman, remember when Africans, there will always be someone they accuse of witchcraft at home. 
So you you thinking of that person? That so <laughs> so you knew clearly you knew exactly who this woman is. At the time, I thought I knew. Oh, you, you thought, thought you at knew. the time I thought okay, I knew because, okay. as I say, at home people will be accused of witchcraft for the people who are doing this to us are so and so. Oh, then okay. when you go out there, you go brainwashed with the mind that it's so and person. so. Even if they cast their bones and say a woman, you already think, ah, oh, it's so and so. So yeah, at but, this point, you're not born again yet. At this point, you're not Christian. So you're consulting everywhere. I'm consulting you're everywhere. You're consulting everywhere because you're I'm trying to look for answers because everywhere. you went to doctors and they can't see. So now mm. you're like, you know, there's this thing. Mm. I guess I was introduced to by my mom. And now you're consulting and trying to find answers. Exactly, exactly. And believe you me, whatever I tried, I never really got an answer. Mm. In all this, which to all these witch, witch doctors, whatever, whenever I go, they will give you their charms and whatever, and they will always come back. Uh, we're still missing one uh, charm that we must give you. All of them. All of them. I don't know how many I went to. Maybe they do exit five or so. I no. even drove to Komati Port with my boyfriend to be Femba. Do you know? You know how to Femba? Mm -mm. Mm, okay, to Femba in, I don't know how you call it in your language. Mm. It's like when they cast demons the traditional way. I get in church when they cast demons. They speak through me. Okay. But when you go to a doctor, to which doctor to Femba mm. you, the demons speak through the witch doctor so it's so the person comes out if you if i know it's you you'll be coming out uh acting so the way which you will speak yes so through the, through the person through oh, the witch doctor okay. Okay. so the witch doctor will act like the person who is bewitching you so if you know you'll know if you don't know you'll just sit and watch and <laughs> because you do not know hmm. you see so at the time, because Vela, me, me and my boyfriend, we were fighting a lot. Mm. I said they should femba both of us. Yeah. So the woman did that. Some people came that I could recognize, some I couldn't. And in the middle of doing that, she stopped. She took off her things and stopped and started uh, just um, prophesying to us the traditional way. And in my heart, I asked myself, why did she stop Bella? She did not finish. <laughs> I could mm. say, no, she did not finish. She Something was supposed to. Her. Yeah. I, she saw what scared her. Or rather, mm. she saw. Bella, if. What did you think she saw? I think she saw who was bewitching me. Either the person was too strong for her. Or she was scared of being the one to reveal to me. Oh, Bella, the person who's doing this. It's your own flesh and blood. Ooh. Mm. Not the ones that you think that you they think. are. Mm. Yes. But still, I still could not get her, grab that. I, I didn't mm. grab it. Grab, grab, grab that. You know how, how much it's, you love one another. It will yes. be difficult for you to believe that she's doing that. I'm not saying that the person yes. is doing that. I'm just saying that when you love a person so much, it's mm. difficult for you to yeah. believe so that the person that I love mm -hmm. the most mm. can do this to me. Who claims to love me the most? Yes, yeah. yes. But we should learn from the Bible. Was indeed Cain who killed Abel? Was it? It was a brother who killed a brother. And what did he kill him for? It was just pure wickedness and jealousy. Whatever he had, there's no specific what, reason. Yeah, there's no specific reason. In fact, yeah. But so I continued going, doing this thing. But my situation was deteriorating until mm. I had to, to because when I went to a doctor. First, I had to be cut on the stomach. They removed a fibroid, a very big one. I don't know if you mm. want to see it, but it's scary. You have a picture of it. I have it. a picture of it. You sure. want to see it? You now? show us a picture. Later. <laughs> Later. Yes. It, it, looks sure. like, it looks like something that is alive. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they wow. removed that. And the doctor said to me when I, I came to, he said, you've been there for too long. I, we had to keep you there for quite some time because mm. you lost a lot of blood. Yes. And then we had to give you two, two pins of blood. <laughs> and I was saying, wow. So he showed me the picture. I was saying, oh, something so scary. And she said, yes. My stomach was bigger than this. But tell me something. You are sick. You are losing mobility. Does that not take you back to your sister's situation? That you your sister was also in hospital? immobile 
and sick and the doctors also said we can't help your sister so you guys are going through the same thing mm, it is it is, like, that is why i said most of the things that happen at home are a pattern a pattern so yes. it was linking it was like yes. making sense somebody's busy here e- exactly exactly the people that are being pointed at it's just a scapegoat they may mm. be doing it but it's a scapegoat mm. Mm. Ne? So it means the one who's doing it is right. right it's, a, it's either Closer a cane than what here. You think. Yeah, it's either a cane here or it's a Jacob taking from Isel. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but mm. something like that. Yeah, but so at so at, at what point? Maybe just because of time. At what point did you you know because you spoke you you said you're a woman of God. So I'm trying to figure out at what point did you discover who bewitched you? And for me, was that more important than you getting the deliverance? Because you see, you can go around, right, trying mm. to look for who did that to you. Mm. Or you can go around and say I'm seeking, seeking help for yeah. deliverance. Mm. Right? At that point I guess you had the revelation to say this is spiritual. Mm. So someone bewitched me. So mm. we get that. Mm. Right. But at what point did you then know that you you are special and you a child of God when did you meet God in this journey because you had been going around seeking mm. Mm. okay let me the first time i became born again was in 2006 at Christ embassy after looking remember the 10 years of not good getting em- employment mm-hmm. so then i went to Christ embassy i became born again i was serious about God and all that then i got a job i continued i continued but you know human beings we mm. always fall then I fell down the line. I fell around 20, 20, no, 2011 or 2012 there. Yeah, from 2006, 2012. That's where now I started uh, begging off. Then here I am. So How that is leg? when I was okay then. I didn't have leg like, problems. I didn't have mm. other spiritual things were there, but I didn't have. So mm. the attacks, if they were there, they were not physical. Okay. Mm. Yes, they were not physical. So it was. Even if you have problems, everybody has them. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's human nature. So now, after the operation, after the, the this operation mm-hmm. of the fibroids, yes, mm. the doctor of the spine said you should come back, baby, operated inside. Doctor, it was it happened on May. They went for the fibroids. Mm. Around June, he said, I should. I said, Doctor, this wound is still fresh. I can't be operated twice okay. in sure. such a... But why, give me why, some time. Why, why did you have to get an operation for your spinal cord? Because uh, orthopedics believe that if your legs do the things that mine were doing, even though mm-hmm. they could not detect, mm-hmm. it's it could be... It's connected the to the spine. Mm-hmm. Yes. So he did a biopsy to check there's no cancer. Then he said, you should mm-hmm. come and be operated. I stalled for a mm-hmm. time. He said, Doctor, wait, let me... I was told, but mm. eventually I said, no, man, let me just see. It's not an easy operation and people will scare you anyway. Mm, yeah. It's not an easy operation, but let me go anyway. So I went there. I had to be operated. Fine. Here I am in my life. Ay, but I hate hospital. I'm scared of ICUs, guys. Someone died while I was there and I was so... <laughs> I was so scared. I was so scared. It's traumatic. It's traumatic. And now you are in line and to go in, in theater. I was after. It was, so I it was, was in the after. ICU. Yes. And then you you experiencing someone dying. Trauma. It's, mm. It was so scary. When my doctor came, I said, doctor, I'm awake. Please take me out of the ICU. I mm. want to go to the ward. This place is so traumatic. Mm. And besides ICU, they normally put you there because they don't know what's going to happen. Mm. So in any way, the time uh, frame... For me, had already lapsed. Uguti, anything unbecoming okay. can be ca- can yeah. can can happen. So he took me to the ward, and then that's when I felt like now I feel I'm alive. Yes. But my legs were always crampy. It's like especially the left one. I anyway, I had to be discharged. I went home, and they took care of me. It was fine. Fast forward around December. So did the surgery, spine surgery, work? Did it help? At that time, I thought so. Okay. Around December, remember, I did this in uh, late July, August. July, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So time. around December, now I could walk a little bit with my, and I drove up to four times. I even went to hot food spray driving myself. Mm. I tried to walk a little bit, like holding a chair to balance. Oh, then I went back to square one. What is happening? <laughs> okay, now kids have to come back to school. So I had to ask my brother in law to drive me us back. Just my 13 year old had to go back to school. The older one could not get a job. She's a, a fashion designer. So, anyway, fine. We came back to school. 
to, to stay in, in Protit Lane. While we were there, what happened? My child, at night I can't sleep. I'm in pain, I'm in terrible pain, but I cannot sleep. I did not know what they call sleep. <laughs> My sleep came around after three or four o'clock every morning. So in the house, we introduced, I said, my children. Before that, we called a, a certain pastor. I called the colleague who introduced me to a certain uh, man of God who came mm. to deliver us in the house. Yeah. Believe you me, deliverance did, to, did take place. <laughs> a long one. What happened? We know during deliverance, demons will come out. He's not mm. the kind who encourages talk. Yes. Yeah, he's not that one. He cast them mm. out. No, he, he's not the one. When they saw him after worship and all that, and he laid hands on me, they started on themselves mm. getting out. One after the other. One after like the other. Demons. One after the Yes, one after the other. The demons and whatever that was in my body. Yeah. It was a long deliverance. Mm. Nah. Then they left. Mm. You know what, what, what my problem is? I talk too much. Whenever things happen, I always <laughs> take a phone and I call mm. home. Mm. Can and you I, know call and I don't know mm. that I'm updating the people who are responsible for mm. doing this. Mm. The mm. love I have for people who do not love me. Mm. <laughs> mm. So I don't know. I update them about everything. So... The following night, because I slept a lot the following day after the deliverance, mm. uh, the pastor checked on me and I said, I'm feeling sleepy. They said, no, take your time. You still, uh, your body is uh, adapting to your no yeah, normal. That night when I slept, I felt like somebody threw a snake. I could feel it when it fell on my stomach and when it started binding me. I could feel it. Vela, this snake has always been there. I forgot to mention this. Okay, my reason for not working, I could feel good there's a snake inside of my, my stomach. <laughs> Guys, when people talk about these things, they are there. It's not a lie. So I could feel Ugari, somebody had, had thrown it back into my stomach. I could even feel it when it begin to coil itself it inside. Tight. Usually it ties my waist here mm. so that the bottom cannot... Function. Function. And remember, you had a deliverance. Mm -hmm. it, right? it's, it's the day and after. And then the next thing is like, <laughs> you're telling these same people who, who put the snake in you in the first place, Pella, then they resent it exactly. the following night. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and you could feel it. I could feel you it. You could almost feel it literally. That Exactly. Exactly. It's, back. Mm, it's not a dream. It's actually happening. It's not a dream. It's happening. <gasps> it's happening. And you did what? What will I do? Just pray, scared, and all. The, you, you, you get con when things happen. It, they got confused. You, you know, when you have when you have been robbed, when you are being robbed, mm. you can't do anything most of the Ish. time. It's after then that, that you are going to react and say, "Oh, I was robbed," and start screaming. And I can so your like, leg square one. Exactly. I didn't walk uh, <sighs> immediately. Mm. Remember, the deliverance just happened last it, night. Exactly. Mm. So this is the day after. It, it's back again. In the house, it was tough. Guys, I didn't know that people can come spiritually to eat your food and hey, take your money. What? These things eat happen. Your food? Yes. How? We will buy groceries, but they will not last. I will send kids to the mall to buy food stuff. You know, I will pay maybe, I will give them maybe 2,000 rand. When they get there, they'll say, Mom, you may be short. <laughs> Something is the money. Yes, yes. Mm. If you have ever heard of people, home. they work, they don't know where the money it's is going. This, things is tr this thing is true. It happens. <laughs> it happens. And I'll be, I'll be sending money again at home and they withdraw and they buy and they come. Still, the food will not last. So who do you think was coming to eat the food? Even the house was dirty. After cleaning, my youngest one will say, Mama, we have just cleaned. Why is the house dirty? Because we are all sitting here. So people were doing as they pleased. <laughs> Guys, yeah. spiritually they were doing this, but uh, physically we will notice where something is not right. Mm. We could not, I could not sleep. Navela could not sleep. My children will go to bed, I will not sleep. So now I started pressing the issue of prayer. Prayer, prayer. Then I introduced, I went to YouTube. I found Joshua Selman. I used to pray with him. I love him because he prays a lot. That means he prays mm. with us. So I'll listen to his sermons. Excuse me. 
I'll listen to his sermons and I'll be praying along uh, most of the time. And I also found Michael Oropo and I'll also be praying and other pastors. But those two, if I was frequenting them. Mm. So I said to my children, guys, we're going to be leaving the laptop in the sitting room, praying. I'm a prayer like Joshua the Selman whole the whole night. Mm. On my phone, by the pillow, we pray. My daughter, the other side with a child, she'll also be doing that. So it became a pattern while I too will be praying. So it went on and on and I'll be crying to God, God, why can't I, why can't I be delivered? God, what is happening? God. So on this particular Saturday morning, it was around July last year. Because I, I being, being, being no fuga, I will wake up in the morning. My, when my daughter went to school, she was four o'clock, I'll wake up until and pray until she leaves at six, then I'll go back to bed. So on Saturday, uh, you are relaxed, you know. But then at six o'clock, something told me, wake up and pray. And I was lazy to pray. So I went to the sitting room, dragging my feet. I'm feeling sleepy. And funny enough, the prayer was not even that long. Mm. I just prayed and then uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Then I blasted in tongues for a minute or so. Then I started groaning. I started mm. groaning. Yeah, well, my children came in and I said, no, don't be scared. It's the Holy Spirit. Mm. The Holy Spirit came down. He came to visit us. The Holy Spirit started delivering me, mm. delivering me. Things were taken from my body. I could see even my grandmother who died a long time ago. Uguti, it's like everyone who did things to me, I'll see them. Mm. Started delivering me of things that were there. The yeah. Holy Spirit even warned me, don't go sleeping in people's houses. <laughs> then it, I saw people. Yes, even now, sometimes when I think about it, people sometimes that I know, that people love. that I know, mm. people so that, that I know, you saw the person who bewitched you. Is that where they were many revealed? They were many, and all, all the people, them are all the people that I saw, most of them I know. Most of them are people that would call me and ask me, "How are you?" Mm -hmm. People in the community, Ugh. people that I know. So because the people were talking to me like, yeah, but I'll ask them on my mind, why are you doing this and whatever, whatever. So for the sake of my children to hear, I said, let me speak aloud. Mm. They will hear me when I talk questioning, but they might not hear the answer when the, these people. Okay. Yeah, so that they can know oh, goody, I'm talking to so and so for the sake of So them. you were operating in the spirit. In yes, that time. yes, oh. yes. And it happens. So people came out, a lot of them, my <laughs> friends. Even the boyfriend. <laughs> you. <laughs> so now here's the funny part. These ones that are closest to me were hidden from me. Because now when these things happen, it's tiring. Guys, deliverance is tiring. Mm. I got tired. So I felt like, hey, this has been going on for hours. Let me rest. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. It's so sweet. Okay, fine. We rested. Then episode another episode came. That's where I saw I won't mention who. Mm. Two of them. Mm. My own flesh and blood that even when they have an accident, my blood will be donated to them. Mm. It was so painful. I cried. I cried. I cried when I saw them. My children also cried with me. I cried. How could you do this to me? Of all the people in the world, how could you do this to me? I never expected you to do this. Why? And now that explains the reason why every time when I say this, you are, that explains the reason why I'm being treated like this. That ex So everything now begins to click. The puzzles now are beginning yes. to click. And you Even know what also is making sense? <laughs> the dream about the two snakes that exactly. you had as a child. So it, it went on and on. Now everything begins to make sense and I cried. I, anyway, the Holy Spirit left. So when the Holy Spirit left, because the Holy Spirit could talk to me, I could hear in the head again when we're talking. Mm. Mm. Then a few minutes after the Holy Spirit left, I hear a voice. How? Holy Spirit, are you back? Yes. I thought you said you are going. Hi, I'll be with you forever. Hi. Gandhi. <laughs> the person who's bewitching me on a spoke, a ghost. Yes, a ghost. And a vela when I went out, 
way in a way to fame by the traditional whatever it will come out and talk but mina because i didn't know i didn't know what he is so now it begins to make sense when i spoke with the person and then even a mom mom lambo mom lambo is like in the mermaid, mermaid. Okay. yes so, mermaid. so this person who is immediate who is blood to you mm. has a ghost mm -hmm. And has a mermaid. A mermaid, yeah. a mermaid that mermaids. also turns. I get a mermaid can also be a snake. shape shift. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. M people in the community, the most painful thing people in the community know, we are <laughs> the only ones who do not know. And people look at us, they come from that family. Mm. It is so painful. Yes, it's so painful. Even know. We don't. We don't know. Right under your nose. We don't know. <laughs> We don't know. So, what this so, is so your encounter with with with, with these mermaids and and with this ghost, because at the time you thought it's the Holy Spirit. Hunt is a ghost. Uh, after the Holy Spirit left, left. Yeah. no, it started again. Now the, it's like they're intertwined. The, what happened after it came back? It was in the evening. The following day, I saw two pythons, the yellow ones. Yeah, mm. the ones level, the ones they used to twirler with. Mm -hmm. The yellow ones. One was outside mm -hmm. on the balcony during the day. I prayed and disappeared. In I, real life? Yes, with in my own house. With my own eyes. The other when I saw it in the evening around 11, there was load shedding. So they want to use me as a sacrifice in order to be rich. Mm. So, but then I'm a praying woman. I always say, because I pray a lot now, they are not going to do anything to me. They failed when I was a sinner. Now that I'm alive, <laughs> they, can't, they, can't do anything. they can't do anything to me. Mm. Mm. So, in conclusion, guys, I would like to say to people out there, witchcraft is there in our families. When you see at home that you are being treated differently from other people, look at the people who are doing that to you. They are responsible for your whatever is happening. But then here is a, a tricky one. One of the people who's doing this to me always shouts at me. And the other one is very sweet. She can even wash your legs. So it was hard to see the other one. Mm. <laughs> it was hard to see the other one. Because this one, she can even bathe you when you're... There's nothing that she cannot do for you. She will be calling, video t calling. So I think the video calls, because she used to video call us every day. It was to check on us, Hori. How are we? Are the things we can and for us to gain to gain the trust in us so, so that, that we can, can confide share. more, exactly. more and, and more and, and more. And you said, um, I don't know if it was off camera on camera that so now they have a ghost that is currently living in your house that's a spy uh, to inform them of everything ghost, this, that happens. In this your ghost, home. almost everybody, it rotates. This ghost and this uh, mom Lambo, they rotate with all of us. Hmm. They rotate. So currently, as we speak, you are living with two snakes one, still in your body. The one left, on the leg. The large, the mamlambo, the, the ghost. <laughs> currently, you are. Oh, oh. You have a this ghost. This is why she can't walk. You still. have a mermaid and you've got two pythons, basically. Mm. So they suppose. I and that's mm. why you can't walk. Mm. And here's the funny thing. The day the pythons came back, Pella, the ghost is trapped inside of me. Mm. So sometimes it 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 it's le it is left with nothing but to tell me things. When they came back, they were supposed to. I get it after seeing them. You know, I spoke. That was before I saw them. Yes. When I the deliverance came, I spoke. So they knew when the things went back. They knew. Ne? So they were sent to come and kill us. So one of them, the video calling one. Video called us before 12 a.m. Hey. That was to check, are we still alive or dead? And she called again 3 a.m. And uh, to show when God wants to expose people, we had a group at home. She calls on the group, so everybody saw the time when she called. But still, it doesn't click to them. It, was, it mm, didn't make sense. This to something. Then... When they saw her, we did not die because after that we stayed and we didn't want to talk to anybody at home. We didn't mm. want to talk their calls and all that. They claimed, they tell the other ones that I am crazy. Um, you know what? <laughs> so this is not the end of your story because already I'm just like, you definitely need to get completely delivered. Yes. We cannot normalize you. We are calling you. out on all the intercessors I mean. to stand in the gap for yes. this woman. Um, yes. I don't think it's a mistake that you came on the show. I don't yes. think it's a mistake that you came to have been through the most. Everyone yeah. that has come here, all the deliverance ministers, we call you, you up. We are calling. Today. 
up on all strategic prayer points in the name of Jesus that you will be delivered. Yes. Um, you yes. will walk again. There's no snake that will dwell in a temple of the Holy Ghost, Amen. in the Amen. temple of, Amen. of the body of Christ in you. So, Amen. I mean, we're going to deal with it. Can I just tell you the strangest thing happened during this shoot? <laughs> I don't know if it's your ghost. <laughs> Switching off the cameras, <laughs> cutting our cameras. I don't know how many times we tried to re-record, how many takes we did. But you know what? If you're seeing this episode, you better know. God is good. Amen. Okay? And, and that we the are time, private. God is good. Amen. God is good. We'll come back to you with feedback regarding this one because we are umseben zibningi, but we are here for it because we are here for people of come God. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much for watching. We love and appreciate you. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Prayer warriors. Come to the party. It's time we to are pray, waiting. y'all. We are waiting. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Road to 300k subscribers. If Thank you are you, watching yeah. this now and you are not subscribed, do it now. now. And make sure everyone that you know subscribe is absolutely free. And we're going to bring you quality content on time, precisely, never late, dropping it just for you. From myself, Innocent. And myself, Millicent, and our amazing guest. Woo! Who is yet to <laughs> see the goodness of God. Listen. You're going to come back and testify in <laughs> our amazing team right here on I've Been Through The Most Podcast. Goodbye. Thank you, guys. <laughs>